Ladies and gentlemen, how the heck are you? Just when you thought it couldn't get any more exciting, it did. Yep, that's right. Have you ever wondered what kind of electromagnetic frequencies are coming out of your router? Do you have one of those newer 5G routers? Well, I do. You know, because they love us so much, I thought I would actually test the EMF levels. And right now, we're doing pretty good. You know, the EMF levels are low. I'm testing with milliwatts per square meter. You can see it's staying in the green zone for the most part, even though I'm close to a computer, staying at around 0.3 milliwatts per square meter, which isn't a huge deal. However, if you look at the biologically based RF exposure limits proposed in the Bioinitiative 2012 report, which I'm going to share that with you here, we just look at it. You know, they want to keep it around 0.003 to 0.006 milliwatts per square meter. That's what we're testing this in. But, I mean, even without my router out here, it's still pretty high. But if you'll look, just look to the, you know, depending on how you want to angle it, just look next to me and you will see what I recorded earlier today, just a, I don't know, about an hour ago, brought the router outside and I wanted to see what the levels were. And you can see it's showing 1,827 milliwatts per square meter. 1,827 milliwatts per square meter. Now, the reason it's red is because that is extremely high. That's extremely dangerous. I'm just going to hit play here. And you can see, now when I moved it around, it was going 300, 400, 500, 800 when I actually picked it up off the router, but leaving it on the router, hanging out there at 1,827. Now, is that a sign of concern? Well, how many people sleep next to their routers? Or how many people have those close to their you know, sleeping quarters, next to their beds, whatever? But isn't that nuts? So I'm going to read a little bit to you out of this report here that I find fascinating. Is they're talking about smart meters and how much energy smart meters can emit. And they can emit these pulses with 10, 20, 30,000 pulses within a matter of a few seconds. Just... <laughs> You've seen Bruce Almighty, where he's responding back to these emails at a matter of thousands per second. It's like that, except for it's not out of love. Well, I mean, it is. It's, it's out of love. They, they want to do it because, you know, never mind. Well, it's because faster download speeds, obviously. They want to make sure that your smart appliance, that that refrigerator, refrigeratorator, refrigeratorator actually keeps your food cold enough just right. And if you get low on milk, they're going to order you more milk that's been radiated and filled with an assortment of chemicals. Or you can get that new milk now that has aspartame in it that has more protein. And it's because it's, you know, good for you. Oh, sure. Would you like to buy a timeshare too? So that level right there at 1,827, I do find alarming. Now, the biological effects here, if you want to get into what this stuff can actually do to the DNA, it's insane. It starts to talk about, here, let's go here, right down here. Let's take another look at it. We just look at it. I'm listening to Mr. Robota right now. How synchronistic. Remember at the very end, he's like, we come in peace at the beginning and then the end. He's like, I'm Kilroy. I'm Kilroy. Mr. Roboto. They pretend to be your friend and then they turn on you. Because they break out of the programming. Anyway, all right. Bioinitiative 2012 report 0.003 to 0.006 milliwatts per square meter is what they recommend. However, if you get into how far these smart meters can shoot out energy, look at this. Power density at 20 meters out of 14 studies that they did these smart meters can affect biology 66 feet away. Is that not insane? Think about that for a minute. 66, 666, 66 feet away. They actually did studies. I'm going to read down here a little bit. 100 meters away, 328 feet to be exact, from a smart meter, the power density was higher than the power density that triggered biological effects in six of the 67 studies. So... The studies that they did, they actually proved that a smart meter can affect biology 328 feet away. That's further than a football field. Or, I don't know, 
Isn't the football field 300 feet? This is it 300 feet? Let me look at it. Now I got to look it up. Football field uh, length. I'm thinking it's 300 feet. Oh, 360 feet. I apologize. I see. I'm a moron, but you guys know that. That's probably why you watch the show. 120 yards, 360 feet. So almost the length of a football field. They have been able to absolutely prove. Hold on a second. They've been able to absolutely prove that they can affect biology with one smart meter. Now. You know, right now it's hanging out at 0 0.19, 0 0.25. Put us, you should get one of these things or get something similar to this and just test the levels because it is, you might think about unplugging your router at night when you go to sleep. You might, you probably won't. Now, not only can smart appliances affect biology, but so can smart meters, so can cell phones, routers, smart electronics. 